Although our war is going really well in North America, I'm a little bit worried about my allies, Nazi Germany, because they got themselves involved into three different wars. They're still taking out Poland, they're at war with the Soviet Union, and they still are at war with the Allies, so France and the British Isles. Or, I mean, Great Britain, it's same same thing, kind of, kind of, obviously the, Ir uh, the Irish have not chosen, but yeah. So uh, Canada is one VP away from capitulating here. We're very close. I'm thinking this naval base should... Nope. I guess that is not going to get the job done either. Where can I get one more point from? One more point. I think we've grabbed all the cities that we can. I mean, maybe if we just continue to press forward, then perhaps... I don't know. Just take up all, just take all this stuff uh, over here, right? Why don't you just, just take off... You know, I think... I mean, I don't think we're... We shouldn't have to take over all of their provinces. There's no way that that it's going to force us to take over everything. This 12, I mean, once we grab the city, I don't know how. Well, you know what we can do is, um, you know what, wait, wait, go straight over there. Um, you know what we can do? We could still attack this British controlled region of, uh, of North America, getting them off of the continent is obviously going to be pretty crucial, and I should have considered that pretty early. Uh, did the uh, did the Danish join the Allies? I don't think they've made a choice just yet. No, they haven't made that choice yet. And Poland's about to capitulate, which is great. Looks like the Germans are doing well against the Soviet front as of now. Obviously, it's because Turkey joined in. I think that's really, really helpful. Uh, we Yeah, they almost got themselves in a very bad situation, though. Um, go support your brothers right there. And yeah, close down. Okay, good. There we go. Japan joined the Axis. Japan's declared war on the Netherlands. Oh, really? Oh, that's cool. So yeah, they're going after Indonesia. So I can call them in right now. Oh, is that is that what that, that is? Yes, except don't attack my Philippines, though. That is my Philippines. <laughs> Just want to make sure that you realize that. Uh, please get the Japanese to join the Soviet one, though. That's where my biggest fear is. There we go. Okay, good. German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pact. And uh, good. Good, good. Okay, so that's going to help out a lot. So Japan will be focused. I mean, they got to watch the Pacific, though. That's going to be a big front for them still uh, while fighting the Soviets at the same time. Wait, who hates me? South, South America better not hate me. Well, there are small... This is, this is the Netherlands here, but yeah. Okay, for the most part, most of the Latin American countries like me. Um, yes, we're going to join in. Netherlands have joined the Allies, which means that, once again, Germany's going to have to deal with another front before Poland is capitulated. Alright, so you need to press forward there. Uh, issue war bonds. Very nice. Alright, so we can continue down this little tree for a little bit longer. Now that we have a, a bit more diplomatic power, I'm sorry, political power. Uh, office, let's see here. What is going to give us? Negative research time on encryption research and decryption. Uh, I don't know. Which grants, let's see, civilian to military factory conversion cost negative 20%. We already have war economy, which, are, which is offering us that same percentage. So getting this would be really nice. I don't even know how much civilian factories we have. I imagine we have a lot. We do need more military factories. All right, we'll do it. We'll go ahead and do it. Um, I, I will look, I've got free civilian factories right now. Yeah, we probably need to convert over a few. So I can convert over, click a civilian factory or military factory icon to start the conversion. Do we want to do it in New York? Let's, let's do it in the middle of the country. Convert one military factory to one civilian factory. We want to convert... Oh, I see what I did. There we go. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and start to change up Kansas a little bit. Even though we don't have that... We, maybe we shouldn't do all... We, let's not do this now. Why am I doing this now, Drew? We can. Let's wait Let's wait until we get that... Uh, let's, let's wait until we get that national focus. Then we'll have huge bonuses. Why waste our time on it now? Yeah. Yeah, so go ahead. But Kansas will be a good, a good place to start. I like it, you know, right in the middle of the country. Really nothing threatening it too much. I don't want anything on the coast. Boom, there we go. All right, it's about time. I cannot believe they survived for that long. United Kingdom has called uh, Luxembourg. All right, good. 
small countries shouldn't be too big of an issue. We still need to work on something though. So we could still build military factories. I'm just not gonna convert anything over right now. All right. So uh, let me let me prioritize this a little bit. And then yeah, we're gonna start to make a ton, ton more. Oh, we still have free civilian factories? How is that? How do we have this much? All right, well, let's go with anti-air. Anti-air is gonna be a huge benefit. There we go. So I wanna build like five there, probably all along this side. Now, I don't think anti-air is that big of a threat. Also along, um, maybe in Florida too. Let's do, let's do a lot in Florida as well. Just in case the British bring over carriers and they begin to kind of launch uh, maybe naval bombers or something like that. Got to be careful of those, those, air, uh, those planes on carriers. Okay, so let's kind of rethink this before you do anything else. Let's, let's slow this down. Netherlands have joined the United Kingdom. Okay, so the Netherlands are involved in this war now. Bunch of wars are continuing to merge. This is a pretty huge mess that we're dealing with. This war, this world, it's a very big mess. And uh, yeah, I just want you to take out all of that. And you can go ahead and just, just do that right now. Okay, so there is a strait that we can cross here. Um, now, I'm really shocked that we haven't seen the British try to launch any sort of naval uh, invasion on us. Ooh, who is this? Oh, that's Italy helping. Oh, okay, good. Let's make sure that we step up, grab all these islands. I'm not going to be able to grab that. I could ask for... Oh, Venezuela would definitely give me um, military... Oh, no, they would not. Why is that? Why would you not give me military access? I mean, I could ask to... I can improve his relations, but I don't... I'm not making much political power anyways. Um, well... I can probably launch... We can just take that one division and go here on these colonies anyways. It's not too big of a deal. Or, or, you could take this guy. He's actually uh, a good unit to do this with. Wait a second, you're telling me that, that this Panama-controlled area has no... No, they've got a naval base. So I should be able to go from one naval base to the other. Or is it because, oh, because that's not my territory, Drew, obviously. Okay, well, we can go to my own stuff. Or maybe I can't. There we go. Well, we'll start off going there. Yeah, we'll start off going there. Make a naval invasion on a few of these islands will be helpful. You know, hurt Canada, I'm, I'm sorry, hurt the British Isles a little bit more. I don't, why am I calling the British Isles? The British, there you go. Just the British. What is this? Canada? How does... No, Canada. You can't have that. I want this. Well, hold on. Trotsky survives assassination attempt. Oh, okay. So the Soviets try... Oh, that's actually good, right? If Trotsky dies, then the national unity of the Soviet Union will overall go up, I think. You know, the cowardly plot hatched by Stalin. Yeah, I think this is actually really good news for us. Uh, for these guys, yeah, like I said, I don't know what to do with them. I can merge them with the Mexican front. Again, if I were to declare war in Mexico, though, now, uh, that would pretty much be forcing their hand to join the Allies if I start to justify a war goal. I think. And not necessarily. It's not necessarily the case. Um, yeah, I mean, I mean, boosting party popularity is not going to do too much. Let's, let's line, I guess, I just, I guess come along the Mexican front for now. Come over here for now, just to have you somewhere. Again, I could pull them back at any point to someplace else. Hey, you know what? We don't need all these notifications, do we? I can't right click these. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Oh, and we've got a little bit of resistance here. Again, oh, military police. That is what I need to research. Which I think I, I think I have researched a little bit of military police. We might want to consider a little bit of that. Or we might want to... I mean, we've got enough army experience to start to 
uh, edit our divisions. So maybe adding like a military police uh, to our kind of basic infantry wouldn't be maybe the most terriblest idea, I guess, if that's a word. How is Poland still alive? That's what I want to know. How are these guys still alive and kicking? Okay, well, either way, what are we, what are we doing next? Oh, okay, we still have a long time for the wartime industry. Okay, let's speed this up. Let's focus on making sure the United Kingdom get out of North America. And uh, we also need to... Ooh, what's this? Naval invasion where? Naval invasion... Well, why aren't we protecting? Aren't we supposed to be protecting that? That is... East Coast. Naval invasion. I'm watching this place, though. Maybe we'll give it time. Maybe we will give it time. Maybe it won't launch. If it does, though... Let's see here. Let's wait. Let's pick these guys up. We've got infantry equipment. Um... If I draw, you know what, it, I can't draw a front here, but I can do a, I think a garrison line. Yeah, garrison area. If you draw an order with this tool, any other standing orders, the group will, okay. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have like a garrisoned, click to add state. Okay, so let's add, let's add Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina to this. Uh, that should bring them over there. Also, I'd like to cancel that order that I told them. Okay, well, they'll, they'll go do that. I think they're all going to go to Florida, and then I'll have to, like, mix them up a little bit. Okay, well, still, either way, that's good. Let me let me focus on research. So, I, I talked about how I need military police. Um, do I? Yeah, I don't have military police too just yet. So, let's jump after that. Uh, let's think about editing some of our divisions, although we're going to have a few divisions finishing here. We might want to consider a little bit of an edit in the infantry division. Um, well, should I wait for the military police 2 to finish? Uh, I probably, uh, you know, your marines would also be nice to add. Yeah, you know, let's let's wait a second because I'm I'm about to research a whole bunch of different things. So that would be good. Reserves is always the word that I'm looking for. Like it's not garrisoned. Yeah, you know, give me a second. I'm not gonna do this yet. We're gonna we're gonna wait for a second. Here's military police, and I guess I could add these now, and we'll look into it a little bit later. Let's save for. 10 military experience. Um, oh, that's right. We need a theorist too, which which I should be getting. Um, I should be getting enough political power soon for a theorist, which I'll be doing that. Definitely. You know, we don't really need. Could you guys come this way? Uh, to a non naval base location. Okay, so we will do that. Is there a straight from this island? No, there is not. So I guess we could launch a naval invasion. Of a few different parts. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Good, so we had a victory here. That almost went very poorly for us. We only sunk 12 ships, though? Did they escape? Yeah, they they had a lot of uh, a lot of ships escape that battle. Is it still going on? Oh, no, it's, it's over. Fall of Warsaw. It is about time. You were scaring me, Germany. You were scaring me. Also, since we are focused on the um, on the UK war, I guess now, we should probably alter the decision-making we've made with some of these guys here. So where is where are my planes at? Most of them are in New Jersey. Is this the same thing, Eastern Canada? Oh, well, we should have superiority over... Over this region anyways. Well, it's not showing anything. Netherlands have capitulated. Good, good, good. So Canada's doing well. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The, the, the Germans are doing well. Hmm. Okay, well. I guess, technically. Are we seeing resistance a little bit? Yeah, I think, I think we are a little bit. Detection. 
Well, did these these uh, these anti air finish up? I think they did. Yeah. Support weapons three. Yeah, that's good. I, we should have had that. Probably should have rushed that, but it's okay. And uh, civilian to to military factories. I have to keep that in mind. So how many extra ones do I have? I only have one. I have a few extra ones. So let me make sure that we at least start producing planes a little bit faster. Uh, logistics, how are we doing? We need more tactical bombers. We're running out of support support units, but that's okay. We could probably limit the amount of... Uh, yeah, we really do not need that much infantry equipment, especially because I don't think we're going to be really uh, in too many more hardcore uh, land battles anymore. So let me maybe go down to five. Uh, that's a little bit scary. I don't like to go down to five. There we go. So we know that, you know, we still need a lot more artillery, right? Let's go back up here. Let's keep it there for now. It sucks because, you know, I know that I was very efficient at this infantry equipment, but we've got a ton of it. So we really don't need that much, especially as America in this scenario. I mean, we're doing pretty much fine. I can go after mechanized or Marines too. Uh, Marines would be nice. I don't think we're going to be fighting in the mountains really as much. I can't. I, I, I mean, the only thing we'd be attacking would be maybe the British Isles and in South America. And yeah, there's like the Andes Mountains, but I I don't think we need to rush this right now. I don't think it's a huge concern. I'm more worried about maybe ships, especially because I have no ships. Probably planes as well. Yeah, definitely planes as well. I've got 2.27 manpower, which is nice. And we're about to uh, completely get rid of all this, all this area here too. So once we take over that, I'll probably get ready to kind of land an invasion here. Also, how are these islands out this way? Uh, they are okay. So I will keep that in mind because we'll, we'll want to take this out as well. Uh, improved anti-air. Okay, let me really briefly do this. Uh, you know, I should probably research a little bit of planes too, like I said. Yeah, because we're running out of... We're not doing as well. So fighters, definitely. Let's just get some. Let's get some fighters. Kind of the most important. And then, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna stop right there. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, the free American Empire will probably start to set its sights a little bit on the British. Uh, and I think I'll start to justify a war against Mexico. I, I well, I, I want to wait for Germany to do a little bit better back in Europe, so I have more of their support. But we'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.